I had six premiers while I was mayor, different ideologies, different uh, levels of competence, but I've never seen anything like this. A government this incompetent, a government this dangerous, this immoral. And I realized that I got to get engaged in whatever way I can. And I've been blessed to have listened to Albertans from every corner of this province, NDP supporters, people who've never voted NDP, who said to me, you know what, Nahid, you built up all of this, you've got more to give, and it's time for you to jump back in. So after all of these discussions, I realized, you know, we can do so much better as Alberta. We can do so much better. We're one of the wealthiest places in the world. And yet, people are finding it harder to afford to live here. Our insurance and utilities costs are through the roof. Too many of us don't have a family doc. The ER or the ambulance might not be there when you need it. Our kids are going to school in classes that are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And meanwhile, our provincial government, who we need at times like this, is interested only in picking fights and wasting money. And you can argue that, look, it doesn't matter. We've had bad government in the past. We've got bad government in different orders of government. We, we move on. But at this juncture in history, where such critical decisions are being made for us instead of with us, we need to have a government that knows what it's doing and has the best interest of Albertans at heart. You know, there's a couple of moments, there's several moments this year, uh, really since the UCP was elected, but particularly since last autumn, where I realized how dangerous this government is. You know, one example is when it got really cold in January and their instinct was not to help people understand what to do in electricity grid alert, but to poke at the federal environment minister who's very pokeable um, instead of actually telling people what to do. And then I realized, you know, if the power were to actually have gone out when it was minus 50 in northern Alberta, people would have died. And the government didn't care. They were busy fighting with the Liberals. They were busy owning the Libs. And that made me realize, okay, something's wrong here. The moment with the trans rights thing where I realized, set aside everything you think and feel about trans rights. There's lots to discuss about that issue. But what really happened was you had a government that did polling on which vulnerable minority group can we go after and people would support us. And they chose a tiny group of kids, of children, who already have a huge propensity towards suicide and self-harm. The fact that they even thought to do polling on that, on who they could go after next, started to tell me that this government is actually dangerous. Now, I've known Danielle for 30 years. And the woman who is the premier right now is not the woman I knew growing up. This is something else entirely. This is not a conservative government. This is not a Lougheed government or a Klein government. This is something else entirely. This is a cult of personality. This is focused entirely on power and not on what's right for people. And that's really what got me to this point. And you know, I'm announcing it this time because I really did take my time. I really have spent the last month talking to NDP supporters and people who've never voted NDP in every corner of the province about their hopes and dreams and fears and wishes for the future and whether I could play a role in that. And that's how we ended up here.